a little thing that I like to do, especially with figures, the, obviously the more exposed flesh, the more colors I use. If it's if it's just a little superhero and the head showing and the hands, I don't get involved with all the multiple layers because sometimes I do as many as 12 different layer applications of color on a figure if it's predominantly skin tones. Okay, um, and and if it's all flesh, it's hard to handle them. So I. I tried to find an inconspicuous spot in the, in the base or someplace and drill a hole. And I have all these little handles that I've made, which I really like them because you can screw this in. Okay, and then I have this, it's easy to hold. And then I've built these little little boxes. They have the hole in the top to accommodate this. And then there's another hole in the bottom so it doesn't lean one way or the other. And I, I can clamp these wherever I'm working. And I actually, at my workbench, have a wooden, I have a, a rack like this with about six slots in it, so I can pick up a piece and work on it. And then I have it, again, I can. I have one right by where my uh, vent is, my air vent. So, and I it's, use a little, I use and I have different device. sizes. Yeah, you have the yeah, bike. And the I, I have different sizes. Hanger. Now the pin in this is the same size pin that I use to pin arms and legs. So, the hole that's there for the pin fits right on this, and then they all have a hole in the back side, so that if it's a reverse, if the pin's on the piece, I can just slip them in the back. So it's it's something that might be helpful. What do you what do you use for your pin? Finishing nails? Or? It's just finishing nails. Okay. I this is a, a screw I found. Out. 